hey, my name is Michael, I'm the founder of Brute Lab. In this video, I'll talk about how data collection and labeling can increase the productivity of data science team. There are different types of data. For example, it can be a collection of images, video data, textual information, tables with locked transactions, recorded voices, streams of sensor data. Data scientists use the data to train machine learning and deep learning models, but there are different ways to do that. There is a lot of research around unsupervised learning and other complex techniques which help to reduce dependency on the data. However, in many real-life applications, it doesn't make sense to overcomplicate the problem. You can just spend more time on collecting real data and its labeling. It will significantly increase your further research, and that's why. The first reason is that uh, the time needed to prepare a baseline model can be reduced. If you had a labeled data set, you could use supervised learning algorithms that are quite straightforward. At each step you have a model with a certain accuracy and your job is to fine-tune it and select the appropriate architecture. If you don't have a labeled data, you can use an unsupervised approach. In this case, you'll need to spend much time on preliminary research. For example, it could be the discovery of clusters and hidden patterns in your data. The resulting model is likely to be worse than the supervised model, and its quality can be assessed only visually. The second reason of why you should care about collecting real data and its labeling is that this process can help you to understand your problem better. It's often difficult to estimate the complexity of a task. Without having real-world data, you can think that a problem might be easy. However, when you start collecting real data, you will understand there are many variables that you didn't consider before. For images and video, it can be image quality, lighting issues and unforeseen cases. The suggested approach can help you to discover potential problems and prioritize research direction. Finally, if you don't have a real labeled dataset, you can't measure the quality of the developed model. Evaluating the model in real-life conditions and uh, finding its weakness becomes a problem. If you have a real labeled dataset, it's much easier to compare models and select the best one. In this video, we have talked about how data collection and labeling can increase the productivity of data scientists. I hope it will be helpful for everyone watching this video. Thank you.